yeah, so we're on our way to El Greco. <laughs> we're on our way to El Greco via the uh, yellow brick road. Um, yeah, so I think we have to go speak to the Lone Sharks afterwards, uh, whose name I forget because we met him like once. Uh, I think that's the major problem with this game. They introduce a lot of characters, give you a bunch of names, but you only meet them like once or twice, so you don't really know them that well. Which is kind of my, my big problem with Henry being our, like, long-lost friend from a different family, you know? I mean, we did, what, one job, two, two jobs with him, and we, uh, I guess in, the, like, some of the cutscenes, the time skips they have, I guess we did more jobs together, but we don't actually do that as a player, so it, it felt weird just having Henry come back and be like, hey, guys, you remember me? Can I have a job? Like, oh, you apparently I'm using my horn because I found the button that is the horn. <laughs> it's taking me so long to find the button with the horn. Uh, and fuck your gate, Mr. Algreco. Need a hand? I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. Bruno, that's his name. At least that'll be out of the way. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to oh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you. All the blood, uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could uh, be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. So, my, my first question with Bruno is that after we, we sold everything, right? After we sold all, all the drugs, why did we not go back and give him the money? Because we obviously had money. I mean, we, we were freaking partying with, with prostitutes. So we obviously had the money. Why didn't we just go like, you know what? Friday's coming up in like two days from now. Why don't we just, why don't we just pay up Bruno? Because we have enough money. We have money to spare. You know, like why did why did we wait all the way to Friday afternoon or evening? I guess would be the best time to say before paying him back. Like that's my biggest question. Like <laughs> out of out of everything you could have done, you thought prostitutes over over paying back loan sharks, and not just like any loan shark, but apparently one really really aggressive loan shark that. Can fuck your day up, so uh, I guess I, I guess we're really at fault here. Like, <laughs> there's no redeeming factor for us. We just we just didn't pay back the money because we didn't feel like it. <laughs> I think that's my biggest problem. I mean, if I borrowed from a loan shark, I'm going to pay that loan shark back before he breaks my legs slash sends a bunch of guys to kill me <laughs> or increases the uh, the debt and it's like the beginning of the game all over again. You know. Yeah, that's. I just noticed that we start the game off in debt. We end the game off in debt, <laughs> or at least, well, we don't end the game off in debt because we have the money to pay him back. But it just seems like a, a reoccurring cycle of us being in debt, even though we're in the mafia making like thousands worth of dollars. Yeah, I don't remember Bruno being this freaking far away. <laughs> I did. I, I finally remembered his name. His name is Bruno. They mentioned it in the uh, the cutscene. Again, I would have loved to have like more interaction with some of these characters instead of just having the characters there. Just because I don't remember. I don't know. There's a few characters that I don't actually remember. Like the guy who we met at the bar, the one who pointed a gun at me in the white suit. I don't know who he was. He was just sort of there, and we apparently know him. We were talking like we were old friends, but I don't remember him, don't know his name. 
there's I, I think that's one of my few problems with this the game it's just that there's a bunch of characters that you don't actually remember the name of because they don't really inter well, they introduce you to the characters but they don't like you don't have any uh, connection to them hey I need to see Bruno got the money yeah come on in then you're lucky we were just about to leave good evening you have the money for me, or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Why would you tell him Scaletta? Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was da, you da, da. my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> sure. Da da da. So he was the loan shark after my our dad. That's kind of weird to think about. Uh, chapter fifteen. This is the last chapter. It's called uh. Uh, Prespera, yeah, I think that's Italian. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad, and they were only going to get worse. The truth was going to come out sooner or later, and then we were going to have Falcone after us, along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. Shit's rough. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. AKA this last, uh, this last chapter. This is Joe calling us? Oh, this is a cutscene. Damn. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carlo wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Oh, shit. Carla wants to talk to us at the planetarium. The fuck? I think this is the one time in the entire game I drink a, drink some beer. Because at this point, I think Vito needs it. <laughs> so, yeah, we get some clothes on. I don't know why I'm going to the bathroom. I'm picking up the phone. Okay. You have no number to call. I wish we had numbers to call. And it's pouring down rain. And another cutscene. Mr. Scaletta. She has a peak drawn please? already. Jesus. Hey, old man. What are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And shit's going down. And you are. This is our friend. Mr. Runs the Chu. tongs, right? Alright, so what the hell's going on, Leo? What is this? This. Is yeah, we fucked you. up. You yep. fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. 
Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever Thank learn. You. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. Do us all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched yeah. for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right, stop the car. So yeah. Remember, kid, this is your last. It turns out Henry really was a rat, which I don't. I feel like they sort of threw that at us, and they just expected us to believe it. I mean, the circumstances we we heard was the fact that. We, we heard it first from a guy we had a, pointed a gun at and was about to kill. Um, we also, you know, we, I don't know, I didn't really believe uh, Mr. Wong because A, we were trying to kill him, B, it sort of seemed like a weird thing to throw in right before you died. They didn't really hint to the fact that Henry was a rat throughout the game. The only major, like, hints that I could have thought was when uh, we were doing the hit together, like the the kill, we were killing the fat guy at the beginning of the game, and he said that his family was from Venice, uh, and not Venice, uh, Sicily, although he never told us how he spoke English very well, or he, how he spoke English so well. Um, I guess that's really the only major part where I can go, oh, maybe he was lying. Um, but besides that, we barely met Henry and talked to him anyway, so we, it seemed sort of odd that A, we became the best of friends, and B, we, he became a rat. <laughs> so I thought, uh, so for anyone who's wondering what we're doing, since this, this is not only the last chapter, but essentially I'm walking to my death because I have to go fight Mr. Uh, Falcone. So I was like, I'm gonna buy a fancy ass suit. Take a look at our <laughs> I'm going to, to buy him. some tailored suit because I have just enough money. Um, I wanted to go. I think I go with the black suit. Voila, it suits you. I have a whole dollar left over, but I look fancy as fuck, and now I have to go kill someone in a fancy clothes. Goodbye, and I have a pretty decent car. So, anyway. Yeah, I feel like they sort of just throw the fact that he was a rat at us, and we just sort of had to, uh, like, accept it. Uh, there was not much we could have done. It was like, oh, he's a rat. It's like, what? <laughs> we we never really met Henry too, uh, too much to be like, okay, he seems suspicious. And apparently I sped this section up without muting it. Uh... I had a really nice car, and now I'm just gonna smash it up and, like, I think times four the time it took me to get there. I'm not really sure why I took, why I sped this section up, but I did. And look how fast we're going, like, god damn. Probably should have muted the entire thing. <laughs> At the very least, done like times eight so you didn't have to hear the sound. And I almost died there. Cool. And I think Vito yelled at something. Did I at least slow it down by the time I get here? Oh, I tried because I, I wanted to do this really cool parking. Um, 